Dave Liu at uh, SHOT Show 2024 in Caltech. And they have something new to show us. Take it away. What's up guys, Hammer from Caltech here. We have our new Gen 3 Sub 2000. A lot of you guys are familiar with the Sub 2000 line of carbines that we've had. And one of the biggest gripes with it over the year is about how you could always fold it end over end, but never with optics. But now with the Gen 3, it will fold with a twist. So now you see it folds right up, locks into the end lock slot on the end of the handguard. When you want to deploy it again, you can press down on the buffer in the back, releases it, pops right back out, snaps together, back in battery and ready to roll. Has a lot of the same features that you know and love, but also a lot of new ones for the Gen 3 as well. So starting with some of the traditional is your half 28 threaded barrel for any cans or comps you might want. Full length Picatinny rail, M lock slots on the side. New for this year though, we actually did an upgraded aluminum trigger with a better spring kit in there. So it's the lightest trigger pull you've ever had on a factory sub 2000. Molded into the receiver up here, we have a uh, shell deflector on the ejection port. And we have our new upgraded oversized charging handle so you get a lot better purchase on it for racking and operating the firearm. We also have a lightened operating system so it's a lot easier to rack and cycle and everything else. A lot easier for shooters to, of all skill sets and ages to use. In addition, we also now put one of the jelly donut buffers in the back. So a lot of people always bought those as an accessory for oh, the Sub-2000, nice. but now it's included in there. And also our three position adjustable stock, which we had on the Gen 2 as well. Beautiful. No, I, I love it. I love the idea. I love what you guys do all the time. It's practical, affordable stuff. That, yep. And this one, fold it up, put it away, save it for a rainy day or when you need it, pop it up. And now you can use optics with it, which is really all, what it really needed. Yep. Yeah. But also imports. Also still Glock bags, still 9 mil. <laughs> and with going from the Gen 2 to the Gen 3, we didn't up the price as well. So it's still an MSRP of just under 500. Perfect. Can't ask for anything more. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys.